இப்போ கோடிங் கொஷின்ஸ் தட் வார் ஆஸ்க் ரீசெண்ட்லி தட் வாஸ் ஹெல்ட் ஆன் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ 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 தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ இஃப் யூ அப்சர்வ் த இன்புட் ஃபார்மேட் த யூசர் நீட்ஸ் டு அண்டர் எ ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஆஸ் இன்புட் தட் இஸ் யூசர் இன்புட் அண்ட் த எக்ஸ்பெக்டட் அவுட் புட் ஃபார்மேட் இஸ் த யூசர் ஃப்ரிண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்டீஜர் விச் ரிப்ரஸன்ட்ஸ் த நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஒமிட்டட் கேரக்டர்ஸ் ஹிண்ட் வாட் இஸ் மென் பை ஒமிட்டட் கேரக்டர்ஸ் ஆல் ஸ்பெஷல் கேரக்டர்ஸ் ஆர் கால்ட் ஒமிட்டட் கேரக்டர்ஸ் If you observe the sample test cases, this will help you to understand the program very well. In the first line, the user gives a string as input and he needs to collect all the special characters available in the, available in the string. And finally, he counts the number of special characters occurred in the given string. There are seven special characters available in the above given string. Then the output is seven. then apply the same logic in coding this will help you to understand the program very well firstly the user needs to take input from the user so in java if you want to take any input from the user we need scanner class scanner sc equal to new scanner of system dot in after taking string input after creating scanner object to the scanner class we need to take string input so string str equal to sc dot next line next line of after taking string input from the user we need to check each and every character if it is a special character or not if you observe the ascii values of special characters the ascii value of special characters is 32 to 47 and 58 to 64 91 to 96 and 123 to 126 if the ascii value of the particular character is lies between these ascii values then we need to increase the count that means there is a special character available in the given string otherwise no need to increase the count so i am going to iterate each and every character through loop for int i equal to 0 i less than str dot length the loop will be iterated until and unless the last character is encountered then i plus plus in each iteration the i value will be incremented so we need to check if str dot char at of i just simply stroke dot char at of i in a variable called ch it's very easy to check all the special characters char ch equal to str dot caret of if ch greater than 32 and ch less than 47 if the ascii value of the particular character that is str dot caret of i is lies between the 32 and 47 then we need to increase the count or if the character lies between ch less than or equal to 58 58 ch greater than 96 sorry ch greater than or equal to 50 ch greater than or equal to 58 and ch less than or equal to 64 and also we need to increase the count or if in case the ascii value of that particular character lies between 91 to 96 91 to 96 means ch greater than 91 ch greater than or equal to 91 and ch less than or equal to 96 then also we need to increase the count and finally we need to check ch lies between 123 to 126 that means ch less than or equal to 123 ch greater than or equal to 126 if 
any one of the condition is satisfied from the above if statement then we need to increase the count count equal to count plus one initially we are not declaring count variable anywhere that's why we are declaring initially int count equal to count equal to zero after completion of this for loop we are just simply print system dot dot print of print of count system dot out dot print of count just copy the code and paste it in editor in java the first statement is class so class Wipro, class Wipro, then public static void main, public static void main of string ox and scanner class. I'm going to just close the answers. In the first statement we are going to import scanner class otherwise it will get an error the, because the scanner class is available in util package i'm going to import that util pack scanner class from util package import java dot util dot scanner just save the program I'm saving the program as pro dot java file is already existed I'm overriding it and I'm opening command prompt cmd the file is available in c drive Python folder is there. Then Java collections folder. Then Java file is available. So Java C file name dot Java. File name is Wipro dot Java. There are no errors in our program. The Java file name that is Wipro. Need to enter string. So I'm just copy the string from the sample input. Control C. Paste it. Paste. After pasting, if you observe, the output is seven. This will bring you that clear cut explanation. I hope all of you understand the program well. If you are having any queries, please comment it below. If you like the video, like or dislike. If you dislike the video, dislike. That will help you to improve my programming skills very well. Thank you.